Most people cannot handle freedom. They are always trying to bind themselves, but only talking, mouthing freedom all the time, because freedom needs courage. Freedom needs a certain madness. They can capture me, they can torture me, they can do so many things, but they cannot invade me. See, all the boys must learn songs like this, otherwise you can't floor the girls. Despite being surrounded by so many people, we still lack that feeling of belonging to somebody, being accepted by somebody, being loved by somebody. How should we deal with that discontent and loneliness? On one level, many questions are aimed towards, how can I be free from this and that? Another level, you are asking, how can I bind myself to something or somebody? You must decide. What is the highest value in your life, freedom or bondage? Please, I would like to hear that word, huh? Oh, freedom! But if you are free, you feel lost. If, some, if you go into the mountains and you're totally free, that is, nobody around, nothing around, you're just in the empty, space of the mountains, you don't feel free, you think you're lost. So to handle freedom, it needs a certain clarity and strength. Most people cannot handle freedom. They are always trying to bind, my, bind themselves, but only talking, mouthing freedom all the time. If you really set them free, they will suffer immensely. So this is a evolutionary issue. In the sense, human beings are right now like this, a caged bird, if you keep a bird caged for a long period of time and then one day you took off the door of the cage, still the bird won't fly. From inside it will protest that it's not free, but it will not fly. Human condition is just that. For all other creatures, nature has drawn two lines within which they have to live and die and that's what they do. But only for human beings, there's only bottom line, there's no top line and that's what they're suffering. If their life was also fixed, like every other creature's life, they wouldn't be stressed, they wouldn't be anxious, they wouldn't be struggling how to handle their own intelligence. And that is what you're seeking unknowingly. You may seek it in the form of relationships, you may seek it in the form of profession, you may seek it in the form of, form of nationality, ethnicity, community, God, heaven, hell, all you're trying to do is draw an artificial line which does not exist because freedom needs courage. Freedom needs a certain madness. <laughs> if you're very sane, you cannot be free because you will go between the two lines of logic. To be free, it takes lot of strength that if you… First of all, what needs to happen if you want to be free is… Do you understand that all human experience has a chemical basis to it? Hello? What you call as joy is one kind of chemistry, misery is another kind of chemistry, stress is one kind of chemistry. Anxiety, another kind of chemistry, agony, one kind of chemistry, ecstasy, another kind of chemistry, at least ecstasy, you know it's another kind of chemistry. I hear. <laughs> so, your experience of life has a chemical basis to it. This is the most superficial way of looking at it. There are other dimensions to it, but for your understanding. Or in other words, what you call as myself right now, you're a chemical soup. The question is only, are you a great soup or a lousy soup? Yes or no? Right now, if you have a chemistry of blissfulness, <laughs> if you close your eyes, it's fantastic, if you open your eyes, it's fantastic, if somebody is here, it's fantastic, nobody is here, it's very fantastic. Yes or no? But you have a lousy chemistry. If you look at them, if they smile at you, it's nice, not fantastic. If they look at you like this, suddenly it's a problem. 
if these people are happening just the way you want, your chemistry is reasonably balanced. If they do something that you don't like, boom, it goes somewhere else. So essentially, you have not looked at this mechanism, what is the basis of this, how it functions, how I can make it function at its highest level. Right now, let's say you really blissed out like me. Do you care who is around, who is not around? If they're around, it's fantastic. They're gone. Fantastic. Because your experience of life is no more determined by what you have and what you don't have, whether it's people or things or food or this or that, it is not determined by that. Once your way of being is not determined by anything outside of you, then there is no such thing as loneliness. But you will enjoy your aloneness because whether you like it or you don't like it, at this young age it's a little uh, difficult to understand this, whether you like it or you don't like it, within this body you're always alone, isn't it? Whether you do interaction or intercourse or whatever, 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 still you're alone in this body, yes or no? Hello? If you don't learn how to handle this aloneness, you have not learned anything about life. This is the most beautiful thing. The most beautiful thing about life is, nobody can get here, it's just my space. Yes or no? Isn't this the most beautiful thing? Nobody can invade me. They can capture me, they can torture me, they can do so many things, but they cannot invade me because I have a space which is just my own. Isn't this the most wonderful aspect of your life? Don't suffer that, that is the most beautiful thing. Oh, but you want to pine little romantically and enjoy that, uh, what? What are those songs, huh? popular songs? Pining for somebody. Without you, I cannot exist. Most of the songs are that way now. Sing one song, huh? Older ones, older ones. I'm horrible ones. at singing. Huh? I'm horrible at Just singing. Just tell me the words, I will sing. I think. Say it on the microphone. Hum tere bina brahe nahi sakte, tere bina kya vajud mera. You… you saying it to me? Okay, okay, I got it. Sri Ram is a singer. Sri Ram, that song, what is saying? Hum tere bina ab rahe nahi sakte, tere bina kya vajud mera. See, all the boys must learn songs like this, otherwise you can't floor the girls. But the girl should understand the guy has a need and he's doing this, it's not really true but let's enjoy the game right now. Because what we do is just a certain… it's a certain game, life is because it comes to an end. But the important thing is how are you within yourself? If you are here in such a way that you are only driven by your needs, you will live a very meager life. But if you can sit here without any need, but you will do whatever is needed, then you will live a magnificent life. It's my wish and my blessing. Every one of you must have a fantastic life. Make it happen for yourself.